to satisfy ever-increasing demand for special treatments, including cleaning services and passivation. William Hughes has built an 80 meter square class 7 clean room within its Dorset factory, constructed in accordance with ISO 14644-1, the equivalent of a class 10,000 clean room using federal standard 209E. A range of specialist cleaning and packing services is offered, including ultrasonic cleaning of components to the highest international, governmental and customer specific standards or requirements. William Hughes can also undertake the assembly of units involving more than one component within the clean room environment. The open plan clean room has been designed for optimum product flow, based on the latest lean manufacturing technologies and features high grade stainless steel furniture designed to help minimise particulate levels. Typical parts cleaned include high precision machined components and parts that go into oxygen equipment such as breathing apparatus, face masks and ducting. The careful handling of every part entrusted to its care is an essential part of the William Hughes service. A feasibility study of the part to be cleaned is the first step in a new commission. The special process team at William Hughes assesses the part to be cleaned and agrees with the customer a bespoke cleaning process to meet the required specification. This means that at the end of the cleaning process, a certificate of conformity can be issued, verifying that the product has been cleaned as directed. William Hughes offers a choice of solvent cleaning, mainly for metallic items, or aqueous cleaning for metallics and non-metallics such as plastics. Both processes can be ultrasonic. Ultrasonic cleaning requires a high frequency sound wave to be passed through the cleaning agents, producing microscopic bubbles. These bubbles burst when they come into contact with the item being cleaned, creating a vacuum that sucks away many impurities. For aqueous cleaning, the parts are placed in a basket and lowered into a tank. Ultrasonics are then turned on for the required time. Once the ultrasonic process is complete, the products are removed from the tank and rinsed with tap water. They are then rinsed again with demineralized water and blow dried with compressed air, before being placed in the dryer for one hour. For solvent cleaning, which is a simpler process, parts are passed through the solvent machine where the removal of any impurities begins, followed by the vapour stage, when all the solvent vapes away together with any remaining dirt. At this stage, whether aqueous or solvent, the cleaned and dried products are ready for testing to ensure conformity with the cleaning specification. Such testing might include UV inspection in our dark room. Filter testing, where sample products are microanalyzed to ensure they meet the customer's required standards, and NVR testing, using scales to measure any residue that the process has failed to remove. Once approved for shipping, all items are carefully placed in specially designed vacuum form trays or hermetically sealed bags to maintain the parts in pristine condition until the point of use. William Hughes enjoys NADCAP accreditation for heat treatment, chemical processing, and as a materials testing laboratory. To find out more, log on to wmhughes.co.uk. Call 01963 363 377 or email sales at wmhughes.co.uk.